Okay. Let us understand a bit more about comparison of rational numbers. Okay. So many times you might be given two rational numbers or three rational numbers and you are asked to compare these rational numbers. So how do you compare them? Okay. Now when we saw the rational numbers we know that they are of the form P upon Q. Okay. P and Q being integers and Q not being equal to 0. Right? And integers as we know span across negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers. Okay? Now, having said this, the only thing that remains is what all comparisons can you do? Now, some simple things which you will notice is that if you have a positive integer okay and accordingly a positive rational number right that is always going to be greater than zero so anything lying on the right side is going to be obviously greater than zero similarly any negative rational number which is going to be less than 0 okay so let's say you are given 3 upon 4 this 3 upon 4 is obviously greater than 0 right 1 upon 2 is greater than 0 right a negative number minus 3 upon 4 is always less than 0 right similarly minus 1 upon 2 is less than 0. So if someone were to give you a comparison of a negative and a positive rational number, so let's say someone were to ask you compare minus 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 2. So the conclusion will be that a positive rational number is always greater than a negative rational number. Sorry, I think I've put in a wrong sign a positive rational number is always greater than the negative rational number which means then this 1 upon 2 is always greater than 3 upon 4 or minus 1 upon 2 or 6 upon 7 with a negative sign any negative rational number is always less than a positive rational number right so that's one simple rule which is there okay But the life is always not that simple. Now, if suppose I were to ask you, let's say there are two fractions or two rational numbers, minus 3 upon 7, okay, and minus 1 upon 14, okay, and I ask you which one is greater. Right? So how will you solve this? Well, or let's say not even this, we say it is plus 1 upon minus 14. Let's complicate it a little bit. So whenever you get these kinds of rational numbers, which are actually expressed in the same p upon q forms, this is actually plus, you have to follow certain steps. The first step is convert the denominators into positive numbers okay so you have to convert it into a positive denominator when I look at minus 3 upon 7 the denominator is obviously positive right so I don't need to do anything here but in case of 1 upon minus 14 the denominator is negative. Now we know how to convert the negative denominator into positive. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by minus 1. So 1 into 1 gives you 1 minus 1 
minus 1 into minus 14 gives you 40. So what we get here is minus 1 upon 40. Right? Now, with both the denominators being positive, what we do is we take the LCM of two denominators. Right? The idea is to have a common denominator. Idea is to have a common denominator. Okay? And once you have a common denominator, the one with greater numerator is bigger rational number. Okay? So let's take these two numbers. What's the LCM of 7 and 14? Divided by 7, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1. So 7 into 2, 14. Right? Now, you convert these fractions in such a manner that the denominator of both is the LCM. For minus 1 upon 14, it's already the same. For minus 3 upon 7, you have to convert it into a denominator with 14. If you see effectively, you multiply 7 with 2 and you get 14. Okay? And you multiply minus 3 with 2 to get minus 6. Right? And now, once you've got both the numbers as minus 6 upon 14, and minus 1 upon 14 with a common denominator then you just compare the numerator of these two okay and we know that minus 1 is greater than minus 6 right so since minus 1 is greater than minus 6 therefore the fraction minus 1 upon 14 okay should be greater sorry should be greater than 3 upon 7. Right?